everyone is familiar with electoral debates. We have survived the electoral debates as viewers. We have endured hours and hours watching on screen politicians arguing, attacking each other. Electoral debates, not surprisingly, have become a very recurrent feature of uh, democracies and campaigns and elections. Of course, in my research, I have worked with electoral debates, making comparisons across 35 countries, more or less. And looking at those cases, I, fo I found very uh, similar characteristics among, obviously, the region of Latin America, which, which, which is where my, my project here at the Kellogg Institute will be focusing on. Uh, most countries saw electoral debates in the region as an advancement, advancement to democratic rule, to the openness to competitive and fair elections. They were usually labeled as a positive sign of deliberative politics. Now, however, electoral debates are also seen as a tool for propaganda. In a region characterized by populist leaderships, uh, they have seen and they are usually labeled as uh, media opportunities to apply certain logics that trivialize and minimize and uh, personalize political discourse. So I'm looking at those uh, cases in uh, the Latin American region, not just because I'm interested in what happens in the debates, in what are the conditions that are necessary for them to occur, but also questioning what are actually the added value of having electoral debates taking place. We thought in the beginning that having electoral debates per se would characterize these uh, democracies as uh, effective and open and accountable towards their uh, voters. However, they are not so much, and we need to look at those building some theories about media systems that are occurring and happening right now in the region. Thank you so much.